Three words that describe which wood would be creepy, twisted, terrifying, crazy, spooky, 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 spine tingling. It's out to get you. Top hats. It's top hats, two words. <laughs> In The Witchwood, we started with this theme. We knew we wanted to explore Worgen. They have this great fantasy of having two different modes that they can go back and forth between. So that was where we started. How do we make an incredible Worgen set? So we wanted to tell monster stories, and we looked at the Warcraft universe and said, well, where would you tell the spookiest story? And that brought us right to Gilneas. I mean, this has got to be the spookiest place in Azeroth. This is a city that's been cursed. The people there, they turn into wolves. And yet, we also wanted to get that spooky vibe of the Witchwood. It's kind of the stories you tell your kids so they don't go out into the forest at night. The Hearthstone team wanted to kind of gather our players around a fire and tell a spooky ghost story. The Witchwood is that image of, of just something beautiful that is now twisted. Be very careful because uh, there's some creepy things out there. There's like creepy things that hunt other creepy things. So if you're not one of those creepy things, you might want to beware. The Witchwood has over 130 new cards, and some of them I think are our craziest cards yet. It's Azalina Soul Thief. This is one of the new cards in the set. I'm lying. I would say that the Worgen cards as a whole proved to be the most interesting because it was one of those cases where it is one card technically, but for every one Worgen card, there's two pieces of art. How do you represent Worgens in many different ways? We actually tried a ton of different transforming mechanics, and we landed on the one where they swap in your hand each turn so you get to see human form and worgen form while you're holding them. The Victorian worgen are proper monsters. They've got their top hats, they've got their spectacles, and they're a gentleman's monster. It is true that they'll rip you to shreds, but they'll invite you to tea afterwards. As we were exploring the kinds of stories that we wanted to tell, one of our artists, Jamaro, uh, drew this kind of a dark shaman coming up out of the swamp. Uh, I'm pretty close to Hagatha. Uh, she's uh, a lot of things I like and a lot of things that I'm afraid of at the same time. I mean, she has the long hair. You can't see a lot of her face. She has a crocodile like attached to her back. And this, uh, there's just cool elements about her that make her feel tough. She became the embodiment of everything that you should be scared of in the Witchwood. And we ran with it. There's one card in this set that was a huge challenge to implement. It's probably our most complicated card we've ever made, and that's the Shudderwalk. Shudderwalk lets you repeat all of your battle cries. Now, on its own, that sounds fairly innocuous until you realize certain cards have really complicated battle cries. That makes for a lot of different considerations. How does all this play in such a way that it's done in a very speedy way? How do we do it in such a way that's very communicative to the players to not just what happened, but in what order all these different battle cries are going off? Getting that working required a lot of engineering. Getting everybody together, engineering and effects and sound was just insanely difficult, but insanely rewarding. I would say The Witchwood is a great example of just how artistic a game can be. It was really designed from the ground up to feel as though it was art come to life. An artist touches absolutely everything from the hand-painted logos to the hand-painted UI. Uh, all the card art involved. But there's so much more than art. They're, they're living art. They're something that you interact with and you're a part of. The Witchwood, absolutely to me, is art. Video games are tremendous at creating emotions. And to me, that's really what the heart of art is all about. I'm so excited that The Witchwood is finally here. We've been working on it for months, and now people finally get to play with it. The days leading up to the launch of a new expansion are just exciting. We really are excited to see what players are going to end up doing with the new cards, the new mechanics, and just what kind of decks we can expect to see come into the meta. On the day of an expansion release, to be quite honest, we're all just really playing the game. I can't wait to see Hagatha wreck some faces. It's too OP! Guys, guys, guys what? The camera. Run! Run! run. run. <laughs> it's the golf course. <laughs> There's only so many of us. But there's millions of Hearthstone players, and we love seeing what crazy combinations people come up with once the set's live. I can't wait to see what you guys do with that. My best Morgan Howe.